Today's show is brought to you by a new podcast produced by MJ Bulls Media called Hemp Barons. It's a weekly show about the hemp companies, products, and entrepreneurs who are using this amazing plant to change the world. Listen to a new show every Tuesday on iTunes, Spotify, and Stitcher. And if you like the show, please subscribe, rate, and review. Or capital for to grow their business, or they're in the process of buying an existing property. And we just did a deal recently for a ground up grow facility that was actually d- raw dirt. They got it entitled, they got it approved and licensed through the city. And now they're going vertical and building a custom grow house. So we do all new construction, existing buildings, uh, any type of real estate back loan for the cannabis industry. From MJ Bulls Media, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. I'm Dan Humiston, and on today's show, how this real estate lending company is now making loans to cannabis companies to fund the purchase of their facilities. Today in Raising Cannabis Capital, the investor spotlight is shining on Victor Mitchell, from Lead Funding. Victor, welcome to the show. Well, thanks, Dan. Thanks for having me. Well, we're at the Cannabis World Congress and Business Expo in New York City. And it's day two. Victor, you had your first day at the show. How'd it go yesterday? Oh, it was phenomenal. We had hundreds of people came through our booth and met a lot of very interesting, talked about a lot of interesting opportunities, and hopefully we'll be able to make some important loans. Yeah. Well, that's this industry is growing so fast <laughs> that we need to. Well, Lead Funding, your roots are in real estate investment. I'm, I'm just reading from your website. You've provided private loans to date over $500 million in loans to real estate developers. I mean, that's quite an accomplishment. For- yes, we've done quite a bit. We've been in business 11 years. We make real estate back loans to the cannabis industry. We'll lend on just about any type of dispensary or a grow house. One of the few large private lenders in the country. Uh, and we have a whole team that we can generally underwrite in a matter of a few days or even a few weeks and fund most cannabis projects that meet our underwriting criteria. I think what's so neat about this and what you're doing is that you're bringing your skill set into this industry and your expertise and your experience in an unrelated industry, real estate, and now you're providing all this this expertise, which is so so needed. That's really exciting to me that somebody at your level, your experience level, found this industry that interesting. Now, you're based in Colorado, right? Is that correct? Yes, we lend in all 50 states, but it's also, Dan, worth talking about the fact that most cannabis operators, especially dispensaries across the country, are forced to lease. They can't even have access to capital to purchase their own buildings. And you have so many landlords playing games with them and jacking up the rents and throwing them out and what have you. So it's just an inherent amount of risk in leasing in this in this industry. You know, it's like the Wild West, the cannabis industry yeah. today. So we encourage many of our operators to try to buy their buildings and we're a source of capital to provide them the real estate financing when they're ready to buy a building. Which is so needed. Like you said, I I know a lot of growth facilities specifically, they've just been expanding and expanding and expanding and putting a ton of capital improvements into their facilities for somebody else. Now they're saying, oh, I'd love an opportunity to buy my own building but they can't get any traditional lending. Explain why that is still not an option for people to get loans for anything in the cannabis industry. I mean, it's quite simple. The Federal Reserve still looks as cannabis as a controlled substance, so it's illegal, (laughs) even though uh, more than 30 states have legalized marijuana in one form or another. Uh So there's a contradiction between the federal and state laws, and really the cannabis operators and owners have been locked out of any type of traditional bank financing. So we fill this niche, providing real estate back loans similar to a bank, except we don't have any of the red tape that a bank has. I mean, our rates are slightly higher than a traditional bank. We can generally lend at a higher leverage point. We can make decisions in-house. And we understand and appreciate the cannabis operators. I mean, we have a great amount of respect for what they're doing. I think it's exciting what they're doing. And I think at some point in time in the coming future, we believe that, you know, it will become legal to bank and to finance properties through traditional institutions. Mm -hmm. But in the interim, uh, we're providing an important niche. Yeah. And I love on the the website, it, it talked about how quickly you turn around loans. This to me just blows my mind. In my past life, did a lot of loans through SBA loans. 
And <laughs> how long that process was, give it an idea how quickly you can turn well, something Well, we have on. a proprietary valuation tool that we use internally, but on most cannabis loans are unique properties, so we do require an outside appraiser. That's the longest delay in the whole thing. Assume we can get an appraisal done in a couple of weeks, we can fund within a couple of weeks. If we can use our own valuation tool, we can fund in a matter of like just a few days. 80% of our loans to date are funded within one week. But our cannabis loans usually take two to three weeks to fund. Once we've approved the bar, we give them a term sheet so they feel comfortable. They usually pay a modest deposit. We order an appraisal and we basically uh, underwrite and site visit the property. So it's a very fast, efficient process. We're actually looking at two large transactions right now. We're looking at a $4 million loan. We're looking at a $6 million loan right now. We're open to close to two cannabis operators, one in Michigan, another one in Colorado over the next 30 days. We lend in all 50 states. That was my next question, if you can lend in all 50 states. Absolutely. We lend in all 50 states. We're looking at opportunities in the Northeast here. We're looking at opportunities in the Midwest. The only place we haven't funded yet a deal is in California. For some reason, (laughs) we haven't funded. I mean, the regulatory environment is different there. We've looked at a number of options there. We haven't funded anything yet in California, but our primary focus is in our home state in Colorado as well as we're really putting a lot of energy into the Northeast. I want to take a quick break to thank all of our Raising Cannabis Capital listeners and to remind you that you can support the show by subscribing to MJ Bulls Premium. It's only $4.99 per month and you gain access to all previous Raising Cannabis Capital episodes as well as all other MJ Bulls produced podcasts and exclusive content, including companies' investor pitch decks. Go to mjbulls.com and enter promo code RAISING to get your first month free. Let's talk about interest rates. I know you touched on it. What can people expect? 12% is our standard rate. We do up to a one, two, or three-year loan. But unlike a traditional loan, our loans don't have any amortization. So the borrowers just pay interest only on the loans. There's no prepayment penalties. So it's an interest-only loan, more or less a bridge loan until they can get long-term, you know, inexpensive debt capital when banking eventually becomes legal. Okay. And so it's not a balloon payment at the end? It's a balloon payment at the end of their term, and they don't make principal payments during the term of the note. Okay. All right. If a company were interested in a real estate deal, they would need the facility that they want to buy, and and that's what you use to back the loan, the collateral from the real estate is how you back the loan? They could be buying a facility, or they could already currently own the facility and own it free and clear. Many operators who purchase dispensaries and grow houses have actually paid cash. They have no debt on their properties because they couldn't get a loan. So there's a great number of those people. So we'll do a cash out refinance so they can have more capital for to grow their business or they're in the process of buying an existing property. And we just did a deal recently for a ground up grow facility that was actually raw dirt. They got it entitled. They got it approved and licensed through the city. And now they're going vertical and building a custom grow house. So we do all new construction, existing buildings, uh, any type of real estate back loan for the cannabis industry. Okay. In a deal like that, would you need to see projections and financials or just base the entire deal on the property? So we're basically an asset-based lender. So we really look at kind of four or five different things. We obviously have to be comfortable with the property. We look at the borrower's FICO score. We look at their liquidity. We look at their net worth and we look at their experience. Mm -hmm. But we're not basing on... On traditional cap rates. We don't lend on cap rates or other traditional income-based approaches because we're an asset-based lender. We don't have the red tape that a bank, our loans are not going to be pledged or signed to some hedge fund or some institution. We carry everything inside. We handle all construction draws internally. We service the notes internally and all the payoffs. Uh, everything is done in our own operation. I think that was one of the things I We're found, fully vertically yeah, integrated. I know. It's, and it's really important that we want to emphasize that in this message is that you're not going to turn around and sell this loan. And you're paying 12%, so it's obviously higher than a traditional bank, but you get a lot more services. You get a higher debt ratio. You're dealing with very good customer service. I'm most proud to tell you that we've been in business 11 years. We've never had a customer service complaint. We have a perfect rating, uh, A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau, a perfect rating from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. 80% of our loans come from existing customers. So they'll pay off a loan and get a new loan with us. So we're very proud of our reputation. We have about 500 clients currently across the six primary states that we're lending in. Okay. Well, we've been speaking with Victor Mitchell from Lead Funding, and we have all of his contact information on the MJ Bulls website. 
Victor, thanks for being on the show today. This has been really informative. Well, thanks, Dan, and look forward to hearing from some of your listeners. I'm sure you're going to be hearing from a lot of them. This is a good deal. Have a great day and enjoy the show. Thanks for listening to Raising Cannabis Capital. To learn more about today's guest or to become a guest, visit our website at mjbulls.com. Today's show was produced by MJ Bulls Media, with original music produced in part by Jamie Humiston. I'm Dan Humiston, and you've been listening to the Raising Cannabis Capital Podcast. 